Hello darlings, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I achieved this really full pixie cut hair style inspired by Peak Mill. So if you guys would like to see the full procedure, just please keep on watching. So I'm starting off by showing you guys the hair which I'm using for this hairstyle and this is a wig which I bought on AliExpress and the vendor um, is called E&Q Hair. And this is a 360 lace frontal straight human hair wig. It is pre-plugged and it is 12 inches. Um, this is a 180 density, but as you guys can see, it is not so thick. But I'll get into further details about the hair further on down in the video. So I'm just going to start off now by cutting the hair into a basic cut. I want to take the time out to tell you guys thank you all so much for 10,000 subscribers. You guys are the absolute best. So yeah, let's just keep growing this family and continue to inspire each other. After making the guideline cut, I'm holding the hair at about a 90 degrees elevation horizontal to the head and cutting that. just realizing while editing that it wasn't clear the angles which I'm holding the entire hair at but when I'm reaching the lower portions of the hair like the parts that are at the back I'm slanting my hand a bit to ensure that the back portions are coming out a little bit shorter and I'm going for a full pixie cut I'm not going for the really flat ones that are really trimmed so I'm not cutting off so much hair especially not to begin with because I'm gonna go in and cut it again afterwards After doing that, I'm using the tip of my shear and thinning the ends of the hair. To be honest, the most difficult part of this entire thing was to decide which peak mill hairstyle to do because she has some really bomb hairstyles and while looking through her pictures, I was saying, okay, maybe I'll go for this bob hairstyle. But then when I looked at the hair that I had, I was like, nah, it wouldn't be able to do it because the hair is too thin as it comes down to the end. So in terms of the length of the hair which I bought, it should be sufficient for this bob that she has. But the hair was only full to about 8 inches roughly. So I decided to go for this pixie cut instead, which I am so glad I did because I do have experience with doing hair, but I have not done any cutting or any styling like this in such a long time. So it was pretty interesting for me to try this hair style and since I haven't done anything like this in a long time, I'm a bit rusty but yeah, it was such a fun task for me anyways. So the texture of this hair is really really lovely guys it sort of feels like how my natural hair felt when i had it relaxed so it's a really natural feeling texture um yeah it's really beautiful and it's also quite bouncy you have no shedding the only problem with this hair is that about half the length of the hair is thin so if you were to wear it like this it would not look so nice but it is very affordable so yeah you kind of get what you pay for so if you are looking for here to do a shortcut like this you can go with it but if you're looking for something that you would like to wear in a bob style this one would definitely not do it or you just have to take it um, a few inches longer and i'll be linking it down in the description box in case any of you guys are looking for a very affordable here you can just check that one out so i'm just continuing to flat iron the hair to make sure it's straight so i can see how my cut is looking so far. So for the back half of the head, I'll be holding the hair in this angle and then going in with the tip of the shear again and thinning the hair out.
And I'm just using a flat iron to go in and make some curls. I'm just spraying a little hairspray on the hair to hold the curls. So now I'm going ahead and installing the hair to my head. I did not put any um, wig cap on first, but you guys can go ahead and do that if you wish to. I just did not feel like I needed it. And yeah, I used some got to be glued hair gel to hold the wig in place. And now I'm using the blow dryer just to speed up the setting process of the wig. So after taking off my scarf from my hairline, I realized that some of my curls were not behaving well. And I had to go back in with my flat iron just to kind of fix that. You know, they weren't giving Pete Mills curls any justice. You know, they were doing some flipping motion. They were just doing some things that I wasn't familiar with you know so I went back in with my flat iron and just tried to fix them a bit and then I used my white tooth comb to comb through it and then try to use my hands to shape it a little bit but there were a few in the front that were still just ill-mannered so I just went in with my flat iron again and curled it in a backwards motion until it was to my liking <music> So now the hairstyle is completed and I'm also wearing a long sleeve white t-shirt like she wore in her video. So I think I nailed the look. Apart from the fact that I was sweating so bad so my lace just kept lifting up at the side. But yeah guys just ignore that. You don't know how it go already. So yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to comment down below and let me know which Instagram beauty or YouTuber's hairstyle you'd like me to try next. I thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.